How's it going YouTube? It's Crypto NWO here back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another Dipic unboxing. And I mean, I'm kind of scared of these things. I've done this two times in the past. The first time was kind of spooky, but it wasn't as worse as the second time where it scared the absolute crap of my dog. My dog didn't even want to join this room. Um, he was in here earlier today, but told him to come before I started recording and he didn't want to come in. Anyways, but over here we have a, another Dipic box over here. I'm really excited to get this one done. And at the same time, I am just as equally nervous because the last time I experienced these babies over here, it was it was absolutely horrifying. But really quickly before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys that I have a giveaway on my channel right now for a white red rum hoodie. This is a black red rum hoodie over here. I'll go more further into details about the giveaway later on into the video, so just stick around for that. Maybe around the middle or the end of the video, so just please stick around if you guys want to win one of these black red rum hoodies. I also have a white red rum hoodie giveaway. The black ones are a lot cooler in my opinion. But anyways, without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and open the Dybbuk box. Box. Last time I did it, I used knives, box cutters. So some people suggested to me that I use this baby over here. Now, before I go any further, please don't try any of this stuff at home. Anything you see in this video is not to be replicated yourself. Um, please just, you know, leave it for the YouTubers to do. So I'm going to be using this little thing over here to, because it's wax and I can just easily melt it. We have a couple of cameras here too. Um, I'm not doing the usual unboxing setup. We have this camera, this camera, and we have a GoPro camera, chest cam on me. I think it looks really silly on me, the chest cam. Let me know if you guys like it, if I should use it in future videos, or if it looks really stupid, but I would really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and just... Oh wow, oh wow. Why didn't I do this before? Oof, 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 okay. So I have like parchment paper on the table and parchment paper could really handle the heat. I forgot to mention that I have this EMF detector over here. Should point it at the box first. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, I don't wanna, why did I start already? Oh my goodness, okay, anyways. Turning it on over here, it's on, yeah, it's on. Look, I'm, there's no buttons on the sides. Yo, right where I blasted the flame at? It's just beeping because of it. We're getting a 40 to 48 reading on here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So yes, you can see that there is an electromagnetic field coming from this baby over here. And I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna continue. You can see this already kind of dried. Not really, but it's kind of satisfying. Look at this, this is the fastest way in. Look at that, we already see the cracks. Goodness, we already see the the seam to get inside. There you go. I'm just kind of sticking in the knife. Knife, knife. <laughs> okay. And then we also have a little lock slash latch over here. I'm gonna start from this side, now the front. Oh, that's so cool. I should be very careful. Again, don't try any of this stuff at home. Jeez. The parchment paper, my goodness. Did I mention that you shouldn't be trying any of this stuff at home? <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead and just flip off that latch. Oh, that's nice. Stick this in. There we go, we got it. We got it, we got an opening. Now, with a crack in the box and an opening in the box, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this little beeper thingy, uh, the EMF detector. So, it turns on. Immediately. <coughs> So 
I'm gonna open it and we're gonna see what's inside. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What is this? What is this? What is this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Chill, 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 chill. Every time I press this button, by the way, I'm just turning on the light. Bruh. Okay. Chill, chill, chill out. Chill out. It looks pretty bright in here right now because we have a light over here. I'll show you guys that really quickly. We have a light up here. We have this light on me. We have another light just pointing against me. It looks like it's bright in here, but it's freaking dark. Behind me is dark. This room is dark. I'm kind of freaking out right now. It is 1.28 in the morning. Oh my freaking goodness. Take a good look at that. Okay, getting inside there. What the fudge? Bro, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Did I... Bro, it keeps closing. <laughs> I am, okay, chill, hold on. I am not doing anything. I'm leaving it open. I'm, it was just open the entire time. You guys saw that. Okay. This is what we have inside here. I don't know what the heck these little things are. What, what kind of box is this? Okay, I'm taking out one of those. Bro, that, that's kind of old, I ain't gonna lie. That ain't no cotton ball. That's, that's old and yellow. Nothing inside the Dybbuk box. That's all the wax that came off it. Not gonna lie, it had me really spooked out when it was closing on its own over there. Like that. Bro, look, open all the way. I'm like stretching it open. Let go. Okay. Interesting, so I, I say one out of two possibilities. Possibility number one is that it's empty and does contain a spirit, or possibility number two is that it's a scam. Highly interesting or not interesting enough, you tell me. But see how weak the box is? Box is. So you so either the box is really weak or the Swiss Army knife is really strong because look at that. Actually, just because I am never in the woods, I'm gonna test out the saw on this Swiss Army knife. People are like, oh my goodness, this guy and his Swiss Army knife. I'm gonna test out the saw on it. Oh my god. I have never tried that and that thing is like Oh, that's so cool. Next time I can open up the big box with this. This is a Swiss Army knife. Please sponsor me, Swiss Army. Victoria Knox, please sponsor me. I have tons of your knives all back there. I love your tools. But anyways, yeah, that's all that's inside the Dybbuk box. Um, I actually just wanted to tell you guys about this. I actually just wanted to tell you guys about this giveaway over here. Let me just take this GoPro off. Oh. Oh, it's so tight. I want to tell you about this giveaway, this red rum hoodie over here. Take a look at this beautiful red rum hoodie. If you guys don't know what red rum is, it's from the classic Shining movie that was directed by Stanley Kubrick and the story that was written by Stephen King. Basically, red rum, if you look in a mirror or for example, if you take a picture and you flip the picture backwards, it's going to say murder on it. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it. I love it. I put a giveaway for the white red rum hoodies and I didn't expect the giveaway to be that positive. Everybody wants one. 
one. So I decided to put 10 more black ones because the black ones are really cooler in my opinion. I just don't wear the black ones too often because Stormy's hair gets all over it. But I decided to put 10 more onto my budget and do another giveaway. So if you guys want to join the giveaway for the red rum hoodie, the black red rum hoodie, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment one thing down below. It doesn't have to be 20 things like these fake YouTubers that do fake giveaways to inflate their subscriber count. And I always talk about this and my audience appreciates the fact that I talk about this. But I'm going to keep exposing these fake YouTubers doing fake giveaways. I'm going to keep doing it until it ends. There are YouTubers that tell you to subscribe to the channel, put on the notification bell, smash the like button and comment like 20 comments down below. A little secret between me and you guys is that any YouTuber, including myself and every other YouTuber, can't see who puts on the notification bell and who hits the like button. So they're lying straight to your face and I think they deserve your unsubscription. I'm going to keep saying this until it ends. It's a really scummy thing to do and I see it all the time on YouTube, even within our own community, the dark web community. I hate fake giveaways. It's absolutely the worst way for somebody to inflate their subscriber count. But anyways, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, then go ahead and smash the like button. You don't have to hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can put the dislike button up. That's absolutely fair. Likes and dislikes have nothing to do with the giveaway. If you guys actually liked the video, then put the thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, then put the thumbs down. I'll, I'll completely understand. It just tells me not to do them in the future. But that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the future. And remember, stay off the dark web.